quick. All right, share, share, share. Oh yeah, I gotta make it public. So yeah, uh, I think a lot of people have been feeling some densities. Big awakening happening right now at the collective. Um, lots of density leaving the planet. Like I've, I've, I've never seen so much density leave at the planet. And conversations with people like I've been having in the last several weeks. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a pretty crazy couple of weeks for sure. Sure. Uh, David, that, I've got some running water going, so I'll turn it off in a bit. It's just to ground everyone before we start. Okay. So if you can hear that. I'm surprised I don't hear beep, beep. I turned it off half an hour ago and it was bleeping until <laughs> about 20 minutes ago. It was bleeping in an hour. That's so, so funny. Wow. Yeah. For a long time, I thought that was in my house. I kept going. Every time I make this call, I get that noise, and I realize it's you. There, there, was, uh, there was always somebody who commented, "Beep, beep," <laughs> on the lives we did. Uh, I, I'm just, I was just used to it. That's so funny. All right, so I'll just share it to a few more groups, and we'll get going here. This might be like a, for some people might wait their Kundalini, by the way, or the chakras might. Upgradable. Some uh, some important dates coming up are end of June. Something big is going to happen. Uh, end of July. Something big is going to happen. Um, possibly early August and um, April twenty twenty three. Massive things going to happen. But don't discount August or late July, August. But something the end of June. Um, I don't know if it's that whole Atlantis rising thing and. Um, but as I know it's big, I know that much. I think it's the, I think that's what it is. So let's we'll see what happens. See, there, there's a lock that was below Florida uh, that was released uh, a couple months back so that the tectonic plates will begin to move. Hmm. You're just trying to get that Gaia cleanse going, eh? <laughs> <laughs> let's get that Gaia cleanse going and we'll just pick that lock by the tectonic plates <laughs> just run it's just ready purify this earth purify <laughs> I'm just kidding Ronnie I'm just kidding it's not your fault it's, it's it was going to happen no matter what all right so here we are light family soul family back again um, I think everybody who's going to be watching this is going to need a cleanse before we even cleanse. So um, likely we'll do the um, a nice cleanse. But um, hmm. okay, so if anybody is making like a crazy amount of noise, I might end up muting you. But right now it seems pretty nice. So. Um, Let's just get a good field of light going on. I'll just bring in some purity fields quickly here. Connect at higher self level. Interesting unicorns are coming out. That is interesting. I haven't seen them for a while. Call them the families of light. So It'll be good if, if you just want to kind of clean your energy. So we'll just do an energy clearing, breathing in love into the heart, exhaling love and creating a, a unity field of love. So that's what we'll do. That's a good idea. So I will connect fields, which will create a unity field where all of our fields connect. No chakras, it's fields. And then um, we breathe in love. And then in the middle field between all of our fields, the new field will exhale love and i'll just start making this abundant huge love field over all and um we'll just uh set the intention here that this love will transmute any energies within our fields of light it will energy cleanse all here um phil i'm feeling that halo thing you want to do the halo thing phil do you want to do the halo Okay, I'm still running the water till we start. So let's all visualize, close eyes. Uh, do what you do is breathe in and then just breathe a bit out, and then more and then a bit out, 
and then that's, bre that's breathing lower chakra system. So let's visualize a big halo above our heads. It's, it's like a crystalline halo. Uh, it's white light, it's Gabriel's white light. Uh, visualize it in your mind's eye. It's above your head, and then it's going into your crown chakra, the indigo color, the white light of the white or indigo, and it's just sending healing and clearing and anything that isn't wanted, it's just clearing it out and it's just pushing it to the ground. It's then going to your next chakra, which is your third eye chakra, which is like a blue. So it's sending energy into the blue light and it's pushing everything down and it's going a bit back up again and it's going down, down, down. So it's grounding all this, anything that you picked up all day and it's going into your throat chakra and it's clearing your throat, throat chakra, anything that's not wanted, it's clearing it, it's pushing it down to the ground. And then obviously the next chakra is your heart chakra, which is like a green light. So it's pushing the energies you need. It's a nourish your chakra, but it's taking anything that's not wanted. And then it going, keeps on going and it goes to your solar plex chakra. Then it's clearing all that. So it's going up and down, two inches up, one, in, uh, one inch up, two inches down, and it keeps on going and it goes to your sacral chakra. And then it keeps on going, two inches down, one inch up, two inches down, one inch up. Then the halo might be changing colour if you've got any attachments. And it goes up to your root chakra. And then it keeps on going, keeps on going to ground. Keeps on going, and it pushes all the way to ground. When it's in ground, and then channel moon energy through your aura system to ground. A very quick one, but uh, that's the halo. Uh, complete. Cool. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate that. I'll so we got a lot. I'll turn the water off. Okay. Water, water's off oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> that, was thunder, that was thunder and lightning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're just flushing down the density. <laughs> That's um, funny. It's going into a variety of sources right now, quickly. Let's get some information on what we're supposed to be doing. I'm getting the solar grid, by the way, Dave. Yeah, yeah, within the sun, for sure. Central, central shot, so. Okay, Let's, so okay, so our fields are merged wherever we'll go to get consciously. So we're, we're actually already in the um, well, central sun in a second here. I'm just, we're actually in the, uh, it's like a diamond sun. It's crystalline sun. I, I'm, I'm, I've actually merged with uh, Evra, my crystal source being. I've also got my rainbow crystal dragon with me. So that'll be a bit of fun, which I've only just connected last week. So. Ashley? Going into Central Sun source. We'll port it over to uh, Earth Sun as well. Just uh, okay, but let's see if so. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we got, uh, of course, Merlin shows up. Um, we got Yeshua's in the house. We have um, Gabriel is here, Archangel Gabriel. Um, Sophia, uh, Mary Magdalene was connecting hearts. We'll connect fields with them all here. Release for the collective. To release for the collective. They're hanging on. And then clear the grids. Okay, so your collective heart, um, collective fields. Okay, so go to the uni universal kosh. Um, uh, usually we don't do shadow work for the collective, but it seems they need. It's a shadow work. So we're going to do some clearing on the collective th through um, energy work. Um, okay, so we'll just call in the Universal Akashic Record Keeper to be with us to open up the collective Akash for all on Earth who are just awakening. Yeah. Um, and to bring in all the lifetimes that they need to release what they're holding on to here. Call on... Um, 
Archangel Raphael. Okay. Um, she's going to bring in a purity ray, the green ray. Uh, okay, so we're going to create a toroidal field of light to run through the energies of the Akash for the collective, which are then going to go into their heart chakra uh, to expand and to release this density that they're holding onto. So Raphael, the green ray here. Violet flame, state I do. Yeah, St. Germain can connect the purple flame, run this through here. So we're running it through the collective Akash right now. And then we'll just call on Divine Mother here to forgive, to forgive, to forgive on for them, to forgive for them, to release this for them. And then golden light, Christ, the Christ to bring in the golden light through here. So to send it through. We might as well just go ahead and port this energy um, to the Earth Sun and then over the planet at the same time, just shooting this. This is not just clearing, this is an upgrade, by the way, Dave. That's what I've been told. This is upgrading our solar grid. Ah, uh, right. That makes sense because they're going to be, you know, um, what else? Through their attorney's time. So we're going to connect it to the crystalline cash as well for these, all the collective awakening right now to release through the eternities of time for them just to help purge and to release this. And then we're gonna go into a, a grid clearing. You know what, let's just um, call on the rainbow dragons to funnel through here, follow these frequencies down our light. We'll end up joining them with, with, with our dragon collective, um, but we're just gonna send them ahead of us uh, as well as the unicorns wanted to show up. Um, so. We'll send the rainbow. Uh, we might as well send the angels. We'll ask the golden angels to come in as well, and we'll follow all these rays to collect and to help transmute all the densities as they're re they're releasing. So you don't want to walk into a swamp of density when we head down. A golden cube. What is it? Okay, so we bring the golden um, these energies into this golden cube and it's going to funnel and it's going to continue to funnel through the akash um, who's holding it it's father father god it's going to hold it it's going to hold the frequency okay all right so we will let the journeys begin so um there's unicorns and dragons um, all around us here in the side of the central sun so you can take a pick if you prefer a unicorn it's very high frequency um, it's kind of like the, they got rainbow wings and they're white and they got the either sometimes golden or, or white um, horns on their head. Um, the dragons, there's golden dragons, there's rainbow dragons. Um, there's all, there's green, there's blue, um, white, there's even white dragons. So you can take a pick. Just with intention, what we're going to do is we're going to um, jump on our dragons and we're going to fly through towards the sun through the sun and we're going to create a dragon field and a unicorn field together we're going to connect the fields with the dragons and the unicorns right at the sun level and we're just going to create this huge burst of flame right over the earth uh, crystalline frequency rainbow frequency and just do a huge clearing just right all over the earth before we dive into the grids and we're going to ignite um, some higher vibrational solar grid codes I'm getting ready for the central sun blast uh, is coming soon. So we're fire up. Oh, angels, they want to communicate. What is it? The golden army top. Uh, See them. Okay, so on these solar grids, um, uh, the golden grids, if you will, um, they've created vortexes that are connected to the earth grids. So if you can just imagine all of our dragons, we'll just go towards the solar grids and we're gonna be breathing in um, flames, flames purifying purple flames, rainbow flames, golden flames, just purifying 
um, through these vortex channels that are connected to uh, Gaia's grids, the galactic grids, the inner earth grids. And we're just going to flame it from here first before we go in. <sighs> Not sure if you said this, the Council of Light uh, yeah. uh, openness. There's universal beings here. They're doing something to the poles. Um, uh, they're... Uh, it's unrelated to our mission. Okay, never mind. So it's it's something to do with the shift. Okay, uh, so they're just working on pull pull energies for some reason. They're they're raising frequencies around poles. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so okay, so we're gonna create. Um, a golden light stream here and we're all going to we're all going to meet quickly um at this uh look for a rainbow field going into the solar grids and we're going to meet there and we're going to dive into this rainbow field of light and and go right into gaia's core so we're going to start in the inner grids inner earth here a lot of magical dimensions in here but we're going right to the gaia's core herself because she's got these um holy spheres and we're going to pull some of these energies up into earth so we're just going to go into the spheres that have been activated within gaia's core right now it's like a gyroscope of light that's um, spinning around we're just going to go into it within the core okay so we're going to collect the energy we're actually going to send this up to the solar grids as well because it, we have a it goes right from the light so we're just going to shoot it back up so that ignites on the solar grids we might as well just um still oh yeah okay so for the inner earth realities we're going to ignite these energies to purify all the inner earth realities I mean, tell, tell Dave, we should send the, the golden ray of divine love into the matrix grid. When we're out, I sent you a telepathic communication. Mm -hmm. I sent you some mind transmission. Okay. And let's send this up to the pyramid network from, from inner earth. It will be easier to work from here until we actually, um, I'll just send it right up to Giza. And then that will go to all the pyramids and the earth grids for clearing, but it's it's just cleaner to do it this way than to go to earth. There's just more density at earth level at the moment. All right, um, we're getting some support from Source and the Central Sun. They're shooting some rays down on us right now to add to our fields. So Mystical beans, uh, iron. There's a iron here. Is it? Okay. He's coming with us, Sun God. Uh, he wants us to follow him. Uh, where is he going? Follow him, he says. Okay, he's going up the light. Uh, Uh, he's in Egypt. He's going up Giza. 
I think he's going to that crystal pyramid. He is. Okay, we're going up into the celestials right now, to the crystal pyramid within the um, celestial bodies. He's going to activate something. It. Okay, so, all right, so he's just um, creating a viewing station right now so we can see the celestials. Sacred geometry, what is he doing though? He's making a density collector, like a net, like a golden net. That's with sacred geometry patterns. And he's weaving it over the earth right now from here. He wants us to add something. I see, I've been told the seven point stuff, divine look. Okay. I don't remember how to do that. That's so weird. All right. Um, so all that we are just with intention, you can just connect to all of your aspects and connect hearts with all of your aspects in combination in here. And you're just going to bring in all sacred um, geometry for density clearing. And we're going to add it onto this grid he's created here. And it's actually going to merge. This grid he's creating is going to merge with Gaia's grids um, for this clearing. Interesting. It's merging. So we'll connect fields with all aspects of self. Add into this. Okay, now we're ready to go in uh, from here, the grids integrating. Now it's pretty safe to go on. So we're just gonna go, um, if you wanna pick a country, um, you can pick Canada, Europe, United States, and we'll just go with the, the dragons here and we're just gonna infuse it. Um, they're gonna go an offshoot and just start collecting density anyways, but we're gonna bring Harmonic rays with a unicorn and dragon collectives. We're going all over earth cleansing and clearing. Dr. Dave, I'm connecting to the old other planet crystalline uh, grids to our grid. Okay. okay. All right. Just going through the general energies of density that are on Earth, clearing them right now across the planet with the, I got a, a unicorn on my left and uh, I'm riding a purple dragon and I got a golden dragon just in front of me. <laughs> Crawling through. On the right, there's a, a blue unicorn, interestingly enough. So we're just going through clearing out densities energy just we're flying through energies on Gaia right now across the uh, continents and clearing out energies um, when you look at it as energy it's easier to envision it this way instead of thinking of it as like land and water and everything just looking at it as energies and anything that's density we're just clearing it out transmitting it bringing it back to so we're literally, literally just flying as energies picking up clearing out density throughout the collective Somebody, if anybody wants to send in golden codes to um, help with um, expansion of the collective as we're flying through, feel free to share your codes, any codes you have, divine feminine or masculine, just to share them with the collective as we're flying through here for, for those who wanted to receive these codes, for those who wanted to ascend 
It's all divine at a higher level. It's all agreed upon, so it's fine to do this. Clearing, 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 clearing. Wow, California is so dense. Yeah, the nine planets that connect to our crystal sign, they're all different colors, it's like a rainbow. The grid's lying, you know. The energy is going through the light grid, which is the consciousness of everyone. Clearing it. You're going to need some help in Africa if people want to bring their attention to Africa. It's there's a lot of cleanup over here. Not Canada. Well, I'm sure Canada does, especially that Manitoba place. All right, this is gonna help. Okay. Australia. I see like a wave going through the countries. Yeah, this is huge golden light now very high vibrational um, we have lion beans who are assisting from above this very interesting got some attention on this one guys i got some attention on this one Even the Galactic Alliance is here. Um, I'm flying through, but I just want to tune into them at the same time. I'm totally fine. I got my dragons taking care of everything, and I got this crazy golden grid here. So I'm just going to tune into the Alliance. <laughs> That's funny. So the alliance is covering our back right now because I, I guess there were some try beans trying to stop us, but but they they're taking care of it. So they're just like, don't even worry, we don't even have to worry about other beans. Um, they're the so the alliance is protecting us um, with energies, source light beans. This is why um, segment and um, Atma and some sun gods are with us as well. It's frustrating for people when they first start to awaken. It's confusing. And they get some dizziness. So help them integrate. Consciousness. It's going through a purge. So help them clear it. Okay. All right. So. So we're just going to send these clearing energies to the collective consciousness. Just to clear the density out helping the system release i'm actually seeing like a portal waving around like it and it's all going in okay. grounding for the collective consciousness and everybody watching as well everybody who needs grounding it's going to send this out quantumly so they're not super dizzy mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we're good here on the grids, but we want to create a huge blast of energy from uh, the central sun to earth. 
So we're just going to ask our dragons to take us right back up to the central sun. And then we're going to be in the central sun, which is connected to um, obviously the crystalline cache. Um, obviously, it's connected to the galaxies, all the grid systems, the Earth, sun, and everything, and all the suns behind it and around it. Um, so let's just build up collective field here, collective field of light. As we breathe in, so do the unicorns and the dragons. And as we exhale, so do they. And we're just going to create this huge, huge ball of light, huge ball. that's going to go over the universe. It's going to go over Gaia, all the planetary systems to totally cleanse everything. Every breath we take, we're going to keep adding light to this field, clearing out densities from all beings and all timelines and all dimensions. Also healing core wounds from the release from the purging from the collective, any wounds, just going to heal some core wounds while we're here. We'll even go beyond this universe. We'll go into multi-universe level, bring this cleansing energies to all universes. And then like what Phil was saying, let's bring in divine love. Breathe in love into our hearts. And as we exhale, we'll just bring in those love frequencies, joy frequencies. Golden ray of love. Golden ray of love. The grids are starting to light up. Elohim are bringing in their heart energy, just connecting it with them as well. Okay, so now um, so the other universes are going to take they're going to take the energy that's within their universe and within our universe we're going to take for Gaia a percentage of this energy and uh, the Galactic Alliance will take percentage of it to put into other planet cores uh, so it's going to be divided into like nine um for around our universal system here and we're going to take for earth and we're just going to put it together and we're just going to bring it right into gaia's core sending it through this beam of light from the sun going through the suns pulsing it actually it's pulsing pulsing right into gaia powering up Gaia's cores, we're powering up Gaia's cores here. Gaia's power centers with this light, we're powering it up. There's many power centers. And then, and now we'll place it into Gaia's core. Right into those holy spheres of light. Okay. I think that is it. Phil, are you getting anything else? Well, that's strange when you said nine, because I, I heard that the crystalline earth connected to the, the nine realms. That oh. Quite, that's, I thought it was quite strange. I said that. Hmm. Uh, uh. 
the crystalline beans aspects they're, they're doing something with the grid i'm not sure what they're doing actually Unity rays, crystal right now. up like a blue, mm -hmm. like an angelic blue, actually. Okay, so I think we're gonna we can return we can return and ground. So we'll just call back our consciousness everybody's consciousness to go back to where they are all that is yours goes back to you all that is mine goes back to me all that is fills goes back to everybody's consciousness everybody's goes back to themselves 100 percent cleansed cleared purified zero attachments there's no attachments on anybody who's joined this right now it's impossible um this light was too uh, it was grand complete clearing so if you did have any attachments, you don't know, I guarantee that. Um, so we're just going to come back to our base callback, our energies. I'm going to um, just suggest us to breathe in all this light. And as you exhale, just with intention, send it out the soles of your feet into Gaia. If you can feel energy, just feel it coming out of the soles of your feet and grounding into Gaia. Uh, if you can't feel it, um, just imagine with intention that your feet are planted in the ground. You got soil over your feet and that the trees that are also planted in the ground that have the roots are going to help um, ground your energies, ground, ground in the back, becoming present, another grounding code. Expand. To assist everybody to ground further, grounding all who are watching to assist just to ground the light. Just to ground it, to ground it, to ground it. And help Dave. really anchor, anchor this. Yeah. D Dave, we just cut, I'm just cutting the links to the nine realms. Oh, yeah, good so idea. We might, just, we might just try. Yeah, and we'll disconnect unity fields at this time from everybody who's watching. Everybody's unity fields will just disconnect so that um, your, our, all of our energies are within our own. Um, and then we'll disconnect with... Um, you know, right. I'll just I'll just ask the source beings and all that source uh, we because we did Yeshua, um, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, um, Saint Germain, Gabriel, uh, there, and Raphael. Yeah, I'm I'm thanking them all as well for this. Yeah, assistance. they're thanking us as well. Just showing gratitude. Thank you. They're just bringing a nice um, loving energy over everybody right now. I have a garbage truck collecting garbage in front of my house. <sighs> um, yeah, they're saying all all are honoring us right now for this work here in the heavenly bodies. Um, everybody will be remembered for this. Okay, thank you. All right, how's everybody feeling? How are you doing, Phil? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go yeah, go that's, for a walk. That's, that's quite amazing, though. Well, that last time I took the, I took, yeah, I took the dog walk, put a one into the clock in the morning. But uh, that was pretty powerful. Yeah. But, yeah, great work, everyone. 
everyone yeah. who joined, everybody who's watching. I mean, amazing work. You know, the earth really needed this clearing today in a big way, in a big way. I, I Thank actually, you all. Yeah, I actually, Thank I, you. I, I picked a card out today. All right, what is it? It's, uh, it's, it's basically new beginnings for the grids. Oh, nice. There you go. Wow. So, yeah, that's a, a crystal card. So. Be cool. Task. Oh, Ronnie is, I can see him now. <laughs> and he's not in his truck driving. That's funny. How are you doing, Daphne? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, always. And then Leslie woke up just in time. Yes, got up just in time to make my coffee and join everybody else. That's yeah. great. Yeah, water next, I think. <laughs> yeah. You guys are raising your frequency a lot because as soon as I connected, I was feeling you. It's like, wow, this is going to be powerful. Oh, yeah. This was great. And especially so many, so many light workers. Oh, sorry, Bridget. No, that's yeah. okay. I was just going to say near the end, I had this beautiful vision of just like dozens of these enormous rainbow serpent dragons just weaving in and out all through the energy grid. Like it was like the energy grid was the rainbow serpents and they were working on the Taurus field of the earth. And I just felt so much vibrancy. And, oh, my heart is just, ooh. <laughs> Thank it's you. fantastic. Yeah. I love the dragons. It's so great that you saw that. You know, like they, you know, they're so mm -hmm. Dave, it felt like the grids were one, actually. They weren't three grids, they were one grid mm -hmm. all together. That's what it felt like. Yeah. Fields are merging too. Yeah. Well, you remember when we like he made that uh what was that at Atma? Uh, he made that grid, that geometric one, and it just it ended up merging with Gaia mm. like as well, right? It went right into that one the one grid there. I saw the solar grids though. Solar solar grids. I, I keep on getting stars of seven, seven star. I keep on getting that at the moment. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. That's what that like that it almost looked like that's what he made. Like he he made a whole bunch of patterns. It was uh, golden golden light, like a big circle grid, and then it just merged right in with the guy's grid. When when, it, when that was happening, I felt like there was uh, uh, crystals activating within me, which would make sense. Uh, the the seven pointed star or the uh, the 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 crystal the, the shield uh, all has the seven uh, crystals, and that's what felt like it was activating within me. It's awesome. Maggie, will you grace us with your voice? <laughs> it was so beautiful, so powerful. When we started, I I saw the like the the, the earth, and then was like smoking come out. When David said uh, the when David called the the dragons. And then it was just like a, a wind blow the, the suddenly the whole smoke out and it was only light colors. It was so beautiful, so beautiful. And my body was here moving back and forth. Yeah. And my heartbeat was very, very, very high, increased very, very strong. That's awesome. Thank you for having me. I have, it was like a blessing. It was amazing. Beautiful. Thank you for being here. It's a blessing to have you. Yeah, those dragons, I tell you, they're probably thinking, those humans taking all the credit for this work. We just go in and do <laughs> almost all the work. <laughs> hey, we're, we're only, there's only one dragons. There's only one. <laughs> just kidding. Matthew, how are you doing? Sorry. You Go ahead, Phil. Uh, what I was saying is each each nine realms connected to our crystalline. Each one was a different color. I think the nine realms are different chakras of the universe, sort of thing. 
Well, and they're connected to other universes and yeah, but but uh, like we're one of the chakras of the nine realms. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. That makes yeah. not so much sense. That's cool. Yeah. So, Very cool. Because why? Song... Are we... mm-hmm. What was that, Ronnie? I only know when there are not there are we're we're connected to more than nine. Uh, I, we, I, have, I, we have those twelve. We have twelve. That, like, that's what I recognize and connect to. Is, no, there's a lot more universes yeah. than nine. Yeah, for sure. There's just like a, like a, a a universal nine realm. Um, it's kind of like a a gate to other universes and dimensions and stuff like that. But yeah, no, there's way more universes for sure. Ithalar, how are you doing? You made Hi. it. Yes, <laughs> I made it. Uh, you know, uh, in the morning when I'm shower, uh, they um, a guide told me get get I'm done, and then I, I said why, <laughs> and yeah, I think I'm just prepared about this. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming. It's good to see you. Thanks. And um, someone, someone's on a phone. They're calling in. We can't see them, but thanks for uh, coming in on the phone. Dialed in. It's calf, calf. Did you see anything? Um, I think immediately I connected with you. The heat on my chest in that area it was like. Strength of heat that came through that must be the dragon heat, really. But, um, it's just to me, the combination of the um dragons and the unicorns just it was like we were the center point of the light, it was just shooting out for me, just shooting out all over where it needed to go, where inner and outer um, earth, but yeah, I'm it's like a, like a wave, wasn't it? It's like a wave, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah. it started off like a <laughs> yeah, shooting out. Then it became the wave, yeah. Mm. Amazing, very powerful. But it was just how quickly you were in. It was just like the heat. You could feel it, like yeah. they were really connected, you know, they were strongly saying we're all in service right here this minute. And that was quite powerful. So thank you, David. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Me. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. Deanna's got a nice view there. Look at that beautiful view she's sharing with us. And over the, uh, it's either a lake or an ocean. Is that an ocean or a lake? Ocean, I believe. Nice. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that view. This was awesome. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, Ronnie. Thanks for coming, thanks, man. Sarah. Appreciate you. I noticed, Phil, since and this has started since I started doing some work with you, that now my crystal being comes forward all the time, and I actually do my work through her. Nice. There is no sex; just English gives me a word to use. That's all. But yeah, the crystal being comes in, and yeah. Yeah. I, wh- wh- why? Why are the crystal beings are vibrational feminine? <laughs> <laughs> they always are so, I think even me dragon crystal beings feminine so, yeah. Yeah, it's probably because yeah. the earth needs more divine feminine energies mm, like it sounds like it yeah. 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 And, and, I, uh, and I do have my unicorn in my hand but oh yeah you can oh, see it oh look at that <laughs> Wow. I'm actually I'm sat in my unicorn bedding with my unicorn pillows. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, extra extra unicorn energies. You you probably have yes. the whole fleet with you. Yeah, and the unicorn map in Wales is the dragon ley lines, and that's where my grandma used to take me when we were children, and that's known as the unicorn map too. That's the awesome. Star map as well. Nice. Fantastic. Hmm. Did anybody see the giant purple flame that just got bigger and bigger and bigger right in the middle of everyone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the big purple flame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was important. 
because what happened was like there was so much density from this collective awakening that you had no choice no matter where you were like i couldn't clear my energy enough today i, I kept clearing it 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 i'm just like uh eh. awakening and it's um so when we got on the call we had a energy where we even went yeah. in and cleared everything it was just, but you know i'm sure there's a lot of people doing the same same thing that we're doing today and you know it's everybody's and everybody who's watching all this collective um grid work and clearing all across the world we guarantee there's probably at least a hundred to a thousand zooms of light workers getting together clearing everything and and we're one of the amazing groups who got together to join in on this Wonderful. all you guys hey, are amazing hey, yeah if anyone watches this on video or anything on youtube you can join us because time is irrelevant in the uh, consciousness of it all right so join us sure. mm. so really how long would it take them to assimilate this clearing now for them those that are awakening yeah, over the next week a couple of weeks or it's instant. usually a it's, it's pretty much it's instant and within like a few days usually energy work really integrates within a couple of days and it continues like even though it's instant right now it continues to work for a number of days like on on people that we, we it, yeah it's like on. it's like a layer it's so many people waking up and then we do another one and so many mm -hmm. people waking up there's yeah. a lot more woken up woken but up this, now than last year yeah this was a big one like in the last two weeks so many people have woken up um but like within the last number of days there's a huge huge awakening leading up to this we didn't want to um on the first of june because there's still another few few days huge awakening so um you know yeah. and then we'll just well we'll do another one of these for sure probably like uh another like three weeks or something like that yeah, yeah. one of the events we did about a month or two ago the resonance went to 84 the last time it went that i was the berlin wall went down so the frequency is really getting high at the moment well, my um, team tell me that we're doing this every month now, but this know. intense, this it, intense. It, it's getting, it's, well, look, yeah. it, 84 is the highest since 89. 1989 mm -hmm. was the highest since then. So it is really affecting the earth. Yeah. But it feels like they have to go through a portal to come back again. That's what they're showing me. You'll probably so see the, sh the human resonance go higher. Bring them back again or something. I don't know. Have you felt that, David or Phil? You're saying what can you repeat that? It feels like we are leading them where they need to go to transform and transmute or clear out all these this old uh, energies. Um yeah. and it's kind of linked to a portal, but they'll go through that but come back again. It's like they need to be to be taken or I don't know, it's something we will be leading them through this type portal and or stargate or something will be happening every month going forward, I'm told. Yeah, we should probably do this every month until the until the until the God moment happens, anyways, which could be in a month um, in a bit. Yeah, if, if if you're looking at resonance now, there's a lot of white light pillars of white coming down. Yeah, for sure, this makes an effect. Like we've been following these light missions and the effects that they've had on the Schumann resonance, and and every time there's a there's a, a very positive effect. Um, we've been following it for a few years now. Hey, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. And um, when it time, dropped below, though, then it got really bad. Oh, it was awful when it was below. Mm -hmm. You do not so feel it, that. Oh, yeah, you can feel it when it, when it dropped below the normal average. You know, it went below yeah. and it was really, oh, God. Well, it's been, it's been, it's been, heavy it's, been it's, it's been ugly out there. Like, there's been um, mm -hmm. a lot of even like, it's, it's not like it's a war per se, but it kind of is. There's been like a lot of like um, dark beans and light beans yeah. and, and all this stuff going on over a couple of weeks, trying to stop the event from happening, which is the God moment, trying to stop the ascension. And it's like these final efforts and then that stopped. And now it's like, okay, now it's rapid awakening going on right now. So, which is creating density and, and uh, we don't want to have to go through that inner day. We spent so much time, making these grids and anchoring these light and all this stuff. We don't want to have to be affected by all the collective awakening. I remember 
I don't, I think it was like a couple years back. I said, Phil, I'm like, so when this big awakening happens, well, I wonder, I wonder when we're, how we're going to clear all this. And you're like, um, save it for another day. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the thing is, the, the dark ones are trying to affect the grid and they're trying to affect people with implants. So the more we do, the more higher we get, the more higher vibration we get. Yeah. And that's, that's why the grids need cleaning every so often. Yeah, yeah. Try, and then they, they're trying to stop it, but we can't. They know they can't. Yeah, no, like we're too committed. I mean, mm. we're, we care too much. I mean, mm. I just keep can... flipping anything negative. I just flip it, and then I find it funny. It's no longer, I'm no longer fearful. I just think, oh, that was hilarious. Did we enjoy that today? I don't. Any of the fear stuff, I just think, it just it just washes over me. Now I don't even respond anymore. That's the way to be. That's the way to be. Just don't let anything negative get to you. It's just like if somebody even says something to me, it's something inside of them that needs to get healed and not your your problem. Yeah, right? I, I was going, I was going, that, that's yeah. the difference. As soon as you recognize that, mm-hmm. it, you don't take ownership of it. And that's yeah. the difference. Uh, that's exactly. If you get triggered by anyone or anything, it's your that you've got the problem, not them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this has been super wonderful and I'm very grateful to have been a part of it and I love you all. I gotta go though. Really want to join for next time. So much love. Bye. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Yeah, you, you know what? I got. I actually got to go too. Phil, do you want me to make you uh, the host? Because I got to get my... Um... Nails done. <laughs> no, my, it's, it's my daughter's birthday. So first it was the nails and then oh, now it's the hair and, you know, so uh, you know me. I'm a good first, so... Um, do you want me to make you the, do you want me to make the host fill or we'll, 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 manage... we'll probably end it now actually yeah, yeah. Okay. unless anyone's got anything are we closing down we are going to close it we're going to mm-hmm. close it all right amazing work everybody love you all thank you all thank, thank you everybody who's watching thank you so much. Every... All right. see you next time see you next great, time grateful good, good work thank amazing thank work thank you hello Itala sweetheart bye bye bye, bye. 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 Bye